don't talk about anything. Guys, and Adrian Linker called. Uh, she doesn't want to talk about anything. And I said, well, why'd you call? Knock, knock, who's there? Adrian Linker. Welcome to the Anything Guitar Tutorial by Adrian Linker. Guys, I have terrible, terrible news. It's in an alternate tuning and there's a capo. Here's the deal. It's in open D tuning with a capo on the first fret. We're gonna learn it without the capo, but we are gonna be in the alternate tuning, okay? So, here's what it needs to be tuned to. Your top string, you need to tune it down a full step to D. Second string from the top is just gonna stay at A. Then the third string from the top is going to stay at D. The third string from the bottom, the G string, you wanna tune that down a half step to F sharp. Then the second string from the bottom, the B string, you wanna tune that down one full step to A. Then the very bottom string, you're gonna tune that down a full step to D. So from the top, it should be D, a, D, F sharp, A, D. And then if you want it to sound the same as the recording, you put a capo on the first fret. When she plays it live, sometimes she's got a capo on, sometimes she doesn't. She mixes it up depending on the shape of the moon. Let's start with the introduction, which is only one chord, which is great because it gives us a chance to learn this kind of crazy picking pattern. Would you please play seven on the top string and at the same time play nine on the second string from the top? I'm using my pointer finger and my ring finger, but you can use whichever fingers you please. Let's get this picking pattern going. Start off by playing the top string with your thumb. Then play the third string from the top with your thumb. Now, you may be tempted to go thumb and then pointer finger on the third string from the top. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go thumb and then thumb again. That's how Adrian does it. That's the only way that really makes it so you can sing and play and it's not all screwy. Thumb twice in a row, guys. Thumb on the top, thumb on the third string from the top. Let's do that a couple times together. We're just gonna go thumb, thumb, hey, hey. Thumb, thumb, watch this. Thumb, thumb, do it again. Thumb, thumb, great job. Then after you play that third string from the top with your thumb, use your pointer finger to play the third string from the bottom. Let's, is that in tune? That can't possibly be in tune. Let's just do those three notes in a row several times. We're just gonna go thumb, thumb, finger. Thumb, thumb, finger. One, two, thumb, thumb, finger. Thumb, thumb, finger. Thumb, thumb, finger. Thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger. Okay, let's add the next little part. The pattern is only eight notes long, but it's, but it's hard. So after you do that finger note, your thumb is gonna play the second string from the top and your middle finger is gonna play the second string from the bottom. I lost the chord, I stopped doing the chord over here. Oh well, whatever, I'm just doing the open strings. Who cares, we'll, we'll add the chord in later on. So you're gonna go thumb, thumb, finger, pinch. I use my thumb to play the second string from the top. I use my middle finger to play the second string from the bottom. Guys, let's play those first four notes. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch. One, two, nice and slow. And thumb, thumb, finger, pinch. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch. The pattern is not like hard to do. It's just hard to do fast, guys. It's a little bit hard to do. I don't know why I'm saying any of this. This song makes me incredibly sad. I feel like all the Big Thief songs and all the Adrian Linker songs, like, you're just, are they all about being miserable? I honestly can't tell. They might be about and loving your friends and family and going to Disneyland, or it might just, might just be about suffering and, and then, and then probably death. Actually, though, the, don't you kind of feel like thinking about friends and family is kind of like, doesn't it make you kind of sad? I feel like thinking about old vacations you've gone on and holidays, is, it's just sad, right? Even the happy memories with friends and family, you're just, you're just sad for some reason. Let's play that first half of the picking pattern with the chord back in place over here. So pointer finger on seven, then another finger on nine of the next string. Guys, we're gonna go thumb, thumb, finger pinch, rest, rest. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, rest, rest. One, two, 
Here we go. And thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, rest, rest. 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 Let's finish up this picking pattern. My name's Stuart, welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. I've got big thief songs. Um, have I demonstrated that I know that this is the singer from Big Thief? I know it. I know everything about about everything. Okay. Good plug for your channel, Stuart. Now, the second half of the picking pattern. After that pinch we just did, you're going to play third string from the top with your thumb. Then play the bottom string. I use my ring finger, but you can use your middle finger and that would be fine as well. So we're going to thumb third string from the top, ring finger on the bottom string. Back to thumb on the third string from the top, and then pointer finger on the third string from the bottom. So that was thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Third from the top, bottom, third from the top, third from the bottom. Let's play just those four notes, like two times in a row. One, two, nice and slow. And boom, bang, boom, pow, boom, bang, boom, pow. It is time for us very slowly to play the whole picking pattern all the way through. One, two, extremely slowly. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, bottom, thumb, finger. Uh, 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 pinch, thumb, bottom, thumb, finger. I think that we should try it a little bit faster. Maybe like, boom, give, boom, ba, do, ba, do. Bow one and two and one two. Here we go. Two more times. Now this picking pattern is quite indeed the most, as a matter of fact, difficult thing about this song. We, we went through it pretty plainly, pretty matter-of-factly, pretty by-the-bookly, um, but you're gonna have to spend a lot of time practicing this. Here's what I recommend. This is just a little teeny practice tip. Do you, I have your permission to give you one piece of practice tippery. Play this like eight times in a row or whatever, then Put down your guitar, stop playing, go read a bicycle, go eat some food, go for a drink, eat the food. We've been through this. You can eat food if you want, it's allowed. Then come back to it like five minutes later. And, and uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, if you just sit there and practice it over and over and over and over again, you will get better at it, but it will be very frustrating, very slow, very painful, very excruciating. If you play it for a couple minutes, go do something else, come back to it, go do something else, come back to it, I promise you're going to learn it faster, and you're going to learn it simpler, and you're going to learn it also. So we've just taken a break from it, and now we are allowed to play it again. We're going to go thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, oh yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, here we go. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Now it is time for us to learn the actual complete chords for the introduction. So you know this chord that we did, the one that's on seven and nine, you just do that four times. That's the intro. Remember I said there were two and one half sections that we had to do? That was the half section. The intro is just that chord four times. All right. I'm gonna give you more picking pattern tips I've sprinkled throughout the video. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's learn the verse. How do you feel about that? Guess what the first chord for the verse is? That's right, it's that first chord that we were just doing. You guys, the one on seven and nine, you're gonna do it twice. First thing for the verse, great. Then, then we're gonna go to the second chord. Here's how you do that. You're gonna slide your pointer finger up to the ninth fret, and then your ring finger, or whatever finger you use, I don't care, is gonna play 10 on the second string from the top. So it's nine on top, 10 on the second string from the top, and you do the exact same picking pattern two times. Now, do you recall that I said I was going to give you some picking pattern tips throughout? Here is a picking pattern practice pip for you right now. When you're practicing getting faster with it, here's what I recommend, do the first 
five notes and then have a little rest and then do the first five notes, here's what I mean. Instead of trying to play all eight notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go like this, go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. By just doing those first five notes, we're practicing what I think is the trickiest part of the picking pattern, which is fitting that pinch in there without hesitating or adding any little delays or anything. But then you have those little, those three little half beats to rest and re-center yourself and prepare for the next time through. I think this was the, is, and the other tips are gonna be way better, I promise. Okay, so we went from seven and nine to nine and 10. We did each one of those chords twice on the picking pattern. Then you're gonna go to five and nine. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. I just checked my notes. So here's what's happening. My pointer finger is on the fifth fret of the top two strings. My pinky is on nine of the third string from the top. Some of you might be thinking, oh crap, I thought this was going to be a fun song to play, but it turns out I can't do it because my hand's not big enough. Stuart, you should have warned me. I'm so mad at you. Your hands are big enough. Okay, here's the deal. If your thumb is up here over the top, then there's no way you can do it. Look, I'm trying to stretch right now with my thumb over the top. I cannot, I cannot do it. Here's what you want to do. Hang on, let me just reposition here for a moment. Your thumb, you want to bring it down like this. The further down your thumb is, the easier it is to stretch out your fingers, okay? See up here, can't stretch out my fingers. Move it down here. Oh, fingers are stretched out all night. Um, one more finger stretching tip for you on this day of days. I forget what I was gonna say. Uh, have your have your guitar a little bit high up. Have a John Lennon style up, like up by your by your chin. See if you can get your chin below your guitar. Don't actually do that. Okay, this is not funny, not helpful. Don't actually use your guitar as a chin rest. I mean, you can. I do it all the time. But have it like up high. And then you, you, then your wrist won't have to get to the stupid angle. If you have it low, then your wrist is going to be like this. I don't know what's happening up here with my shoulders. Okay, the other tip, that, yeah, this tip wasn't great either. The, my, the other, look, guys, we have so many tips. It's going to be great. Okay, I'm glad I could help. So once again, that was pointer finger smashes down on five of the top two strings. Pinky stretches all the way up to nine on the third string from the top. You wanna to make sure the bottom two, bottom three strings are all open. So do not let your pointer finger smash down. Keep it up and away like that. Up, up and away like Superman. It's a speeding bullet train. I forget what the thing is. Um, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same picking pattern twice on this chord. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Then one more chord to complete the verse. You're gonna take this chord right here and you're going to move it one two frets up so now your pointer fingers on seven of the top two strings and your pinky is on 11 of the third string from the top so the four chords for the verse were seven and nine and then we went to nine and ten and then five five nine and then seven seven eleven guys let's play the verse all the way through to the picking pattern twice on each chord one and two, and one, two, here we go. Thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, pinch, thumb, finger, nine and 10. Very pretty. Five, five, ten, nine, oh, sorry, I messed everything up. I just started screaming. I messed up the picking right there. We are back on track, then seven and 11. Slushy time, messed up the picking again. So I messed up the picking several times there, but I kept playing, it was fine. P picking tip number 11. Guys, uh, the, the picking, the rhythm for the picking should just be bop, 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 bop. There are no delays, no hesitations, no held notes, no sped up notes. It should just be a completely consistent rhythm. If you find yourself doing anything like this, hear those little like bunk up bow a be do that means something has gone horribly wrong. It should just be bucka 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 bucka.
I think that's my last tip. This whole picking tip thing is not working out well, so we're just gonna call it a day with picking tips. Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's play, the, let's learn the chorus, guys, which is the last section of the song. It's more of the same sort of thing. We're just doing a picking pattern, but with, with other, with other chords, okay? So the first chord of the chorus is gonna be nine and nine on the top two strings with your pointer finger, then reach up to 12 on the third string from the top, Bottom three strings are open. So it's just nine, nine, 12, open, open, open. Same exact picking pattern, two times. That's an example of playing the picking pattern two times in a row. Then you're gonna move your finger back to seven, seven, and 11 again. Remember that chord from before? It's a classic. You're gonna do it twice there. Then we're gonna go to five, five, and nine. Do you remember that one from before? But on this one, we're gonna do the picking pattern four times guys so it was nine nine twelve twice seven seven eleven twice five five nine quattro times spanish for four surprised you didn't know that but not but i mean that's you know uno dos tres i would expect you to know that quattro getting a little bit harder there i'm not gonna hold it against you let's play the chorus all the way through the chorus if you will one and two a little bit faster thumb thumb finger pinch thumb finger thumb finger thumb thumb finger pinch thumb finger thumb finger oh Two more times. How are we doing? Guys, here's what's gonna happen now. Here's what's gonna happen now. We're gonna talk through the form of the song. I just mean the order of the sections and all that. And then we're gonna try playing through the whole thing even faster. This Your, your biggest thing with this is, as I, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. What you wanna do is you wanna practice the picking extremely slowly, take those breaks I was telling you about. Play just the first five notes every once in a while to get really good at those. Then once you're like, I really do know this picking pattern, I have it memorized, my fingers and thumbs are all doing things the way they're supposed to do it, then you're just gonna gradually speed it up. How long do you think it took me to learn this picking pattern? I'll give you a clue. I started learning it yesterday. I um, don't have anything else to say about that. I do a lot of finger picking, guys. I'm like a finger picking pro. It's my favorite thing to do. It literally, do, finger picking on guitar is, is truly one of my favorite things to do. I like eating cereal as well, but eating cereal I feel like is bad for me. Finger picking on guitar is good for me. So I try to do more of that. This is a good talk. You know, I said I was gonna talk through the form of the song. We are gonna do that, but since I just gave us an, an accidental break just now, I feel like we should go back to the intro and try it a little faster. So intro was seven and nine. We're gonna go like, no, even faster, let's go. We're approaching full speed now. Good luck. And some of you, you guys, just uh, if you can't do it this fast, then uh, just go die. One and two and a one, two. Here we go. On Christmas Eve with my friends today. I don't know the words to this song. I know. Kiss, kiss, kiss your eyes for the miss. I don't remember what she says. All right. So the form of the song is this. We do the intro, which was seven and nine. We do that chord through the picking pattern four times. Then we get into the verse. Verse was seven and nine twice. Then we went to nine and 10 twice. Then we went to five and nine twice. And then we went to seven, seven and 11 twice. We're gonna do that whole set of four chords four times for the first verse. First verse. Sometimes words are stupid and sometimes you're stupid. Then for the chorus of the song, we do nine, nine, and 12 twice. Then we do seven, seven, and 11 twice. And then we do five, five, and nine four times. That was a close one. Then we do that whole thing two times and that's the chorus, okay? Then we go to the second verse. Guys, the second verse is exactly the same as the first verse, except I think it's half as long. I think they only go through the chords two times instead of four times. Then we go to the second chorus, literally exactly the same as the first chorus. Then there's a little bridge, but all you're gonna do for the bridge is play the chords from the verse one time. Then we go to verse number three. It's gonna be exactly the same as the second verse where you just play through those four verse chords 
two times. Then we go to chorus number three, which is exactly the same as the other two choruses. And then finally, we get to the ending to the song, which is just the chorus again, guys. So it's just intro, and then it's that verse progression and the chorus progression. And that's all there is to it. Let's do this. Let's play the intro thing four times. Then we're going to go through the verse twice. Then we're going to go through the chorus twice. And then we're going to leave. Not too fast, but a little bit fast. And intro. Two more times. Here's the verse. Oh, sorry. Then the whole verse again. Here comes the chorus. Stay there. Chorus one more time. Almost done. Am I going to make it? I love it. I love it. Kind of, it legitimately made me want to cry a little bit just then. That sounds, I wasn't, no, I'm not like being like, oh, I'm so in touch with the music. It makes me cry. And now I'm not being like, what is this? This is my least favorite end of a video I've ever done. It didn't make me want to cry. It just, it just bummed me out. And now you're bumming me out. Leave me alone. That was mean. And now I'm being mean. I'm just trying to find a funny way to end the video, guys.